Welcome to the SAP Fieldglass May 2024 release, Self-Service Highlights. You have asked and we have listened. The new self-service features and innovations are designed to drive user empowerment, cost efficiency, scalability, and overall user satisfaction. Let's go ahead and discover these innovation items together. Our first exciting innovation is company configurations added for configuration managers. Customer and partner configuration manager users will now be able to manage several company configurations without requiring SAP Fieldglass support. This empowers users to be self-sufficient and makes the process to enable and or disable company configurations agile as users can act on their own time. Let's take a closer look in the Fieldglass application. Within a Configuration Manager account, select the Company Configuration tile on the self-service dashboard. From the Company Configuration page, Configuration Manager users can click Edit and will be taken to an updated list of configurations in a sleek new design that provides options to enable, disable, lock, and hide configurations as needed. Users can also hover over a configuration to learn more about the functionality it provides when enabled. Let's take a look at the available options. To begin with number one, disabled. Click or tap to enable this option. Number two, enabled. Click or tap to disable this option. Number three, not available. This option is managed by SAP Fieldglass. It appears grayed out. Contact SAP Fieldglass support to change this setting. Number four, unlocked. If an option is enabled and unlocked, it can be managed on templates or documents. Number five, locked. If an option is enabled and locked, it cannot be changed on templates or documents. Number six, visible. If an option is visible, it appears on the company details page. Number seven, hidden. If an option is hidden, it does not appear on the company details page. For more information on Configuration Manager, check out the SAP Fieldglass help portal or contact your SAP Customer Success Partner or Program Success Manager today for next steps on how to get started with a Configuration Manager account. Going on to the next innovation, Enhanced Sign-In Assistant. Users will now be supported by an enhanced SAP Fieldglass Assistant when using the Reset Password and Username Reminder functionality. Let's take a closer look in the Fieldglass application. When logging into SAP Fieldglass, users can click Need Sign-In Assistance. They will then be greeted with an updated SAP Fieldglass Assistant landing page displaying the environment the user is trying to log into, as well as selectable options relating to the issue. The enhanced SAP Fieldglass Assistant is available today in the application to assist users with accessing their accounts without needing to engage SAP Fieldglass for support. Moving on to the next innovation, Profile Worker Personal Information Fields are now editable after creation. Buyer users with the Edit Worker Personal Details, Profile Worker User Role Permission Enabled can now update the fields in the Personal Information and Contact Information sections of the Profile Worker form page. This is yet another exciting innovation that empowers our users to be more self-sufficient. Previously, buyer users would only be able to edit the Profile Worker name if their user role had the Edit Worker name permission enabled, but that action and modal have been removed. The user role permission is now updated to edit worker personal details as seen in the image of a user role being edited. Users with the edit worker personal details profile worker user role permission enabled can now make updates to profile worker details without needing to engage SAP Fieldglass for support. This gives power to the user to manage these details on their own time. The next self-service innovation is updated conditions for editing worker timesheet start date. Users can now edit the timesheet start date field on the worker form page without enabling the following. Allow extension to worker dates without work order revision company configuration and disallow approval of time expense sheet invoice when committed spend is exceeded job posting template rule. This enhancement is straightforward, but it provides a big impact for customers who have these items enabled because they can now edit the timesheet start date field on the worker and do not need SAP Fieldglass for support to complete these updates. Going on to another self-service innovation, edit start date during SOW revision. Buyers and suppliers can now modify the start date when revising a statement of work. This enhancement allows for better project timeline adjustments by simplifying the process for buyers and suppliers to update the start date for statements of work. Let's take a closer look in the field class application. Let's say a statement of work owner needs to push back the start date of their statement of work by one week due to delays. The user can now simply click Actions, Revise to start the process of updating the start date. The user will click Continue to move forward with the revision. 
the user can then select the start date field and move the start date to the following week to account for the delays. There is also the option to enter the duration to ensure accuracy. After entering the correct date, the user can click continue to move forward with a revision. Users with the appropriate permissions can now update the statement of work start date in the application, making the process more efficient as SAP Fieldglass does not need to be engaged to support the update. The second to last self-service item is an innovation that allows edits to custom field settings through the user interface. Users can now update the mandatory and optional flags on linked custom fields after they've been created. Additionally, the effects all active flags can now be edited and existing linked modules can now be delinked. Users with the appropriate permissions will now be able to make these updates without contacting SAP Fieldglass support. This will make the process more efficient and is just another way we are empowering SAP Fieldglass users to be more self-sufficient. The final self-service innovation from the SAP Fieldglass May 2024 release is auto-close statement of work. The auto-close statement of work configuration allows buyers to automate the closure of statements of work based on configured parameters, saving time and increasing efficiency. To utilize the auto-close statement of work functionality, users will need to contact SAP Fieldglass support to enable the configuration. Users can set a time frame after which a statement of work is automatically closed. This can be any number of days between 0 and 365. Users will also have the option to determine if further invoicing will be allowed after the statement of work is auto-closed. This functionality will provide a big impact for users by automating the statement of work closure process. This will greatly improve the user experience and extends functionality available on other modules to statement of work. Thank you for taking the time to tune into the SAP Fieldglass May 2024 release self-service highlights. And we hope you are excited about these innovations that empower the end user.